We're going to look at the mechanism involving a reactive species called an electrophile. So we're going to look at a typical homologous series, and that's the alkenes, and we're going to look at the simplest alkene, and that is ethene. If we look closely at the alkenes, they all have something in common, and that is this carbon, double bond carbon, so we can consider this area here to be electron rich. Now, if we look at a molecule of hydrogen bromide, the hydrogen atom in hydrogen bromide has a slight positive charge as the bromine is more electronegative, so it has a tendency to pull electrons towards itself. So within the covalent bond, bromine is pulling electron density towards itself. And that means that this becomes electrophilic, the hydrogen atom becomes electrophilic and draws electrons from the double bond towards itself. In doing so, we show this with a curly arrow showing the movement of the pair of electrons within the double bond moving onto the hydrogen and creating a new covalent bond between one of these carbons and that hydrogen. And this now means that this bond has to break and the pair of electrons move on to the more electronegative atom, the bromine. Notice that electrons will always flow in the same direction. This hydrogen has now formed a bond with one of these carbons, which one it doesn't matter because they're both equivalent, they're both identical. And therefore, one of the other carbon atoms, let's consider this one, has now lost an electron because the electron that this used to possess sharing with this one has now kindly been donated to that hydrogen atom which I'll represent with this new bond here. It follows that if this carbon has lost an electron it will now get a positive charge and we call this species a carbocation and some textbooks refer to them as carbonium ions. Because the carbon is attached to only one other carbon, the carbonium ion is attached to one other carbon, we call it a primary carbocation or primary carbonium ion. Now the bromine here has taken an electron more than it had before and therefore it will acquire a negative charge and a unbonded pair of electrons and therefore very quickly the lone pair of electrons will now have a nucleophilic attack on the carbocation. So the resulting molecule that's formed has hydrogen on one of the carbons across the double bond and on the second carbon, the bromine atom is attached. It's called nuclear. It's called electrophilic addition because the electrophile has added across the double bond.